Welcome. The topic of this video is actually going to install Arcanlex D Xmonad on the newest VirtualBox 6.0. And we've discovered in this um, afternoon that we need to watch out for the settings in the display. It should say here VBox VGA, otherwise I am in a lot of trouble. So if it that works for you, that's fine. Otherwise you'll need to have an, another go here. This is VMware and this might work as well, but this is going to be my setting from now on and it's hidden away in a template. So if I clone and clone and clone again, so we have um, the settings correct. So the workflow I'm look that you're looking at is a empty file with all the settings. So just the settings uh, set correctly and then the processors and all that, then a copy paste, a clone. Then I've installed a Linux ISO on it. Then I cloned it again. And now I have this Xmonad. Well, it's not yet Xmonad, but it's an empty Arch Linux D. Everything is installed. Grub is there. Everything is there. The graphical installation is finished. And we end up in a why is it called? We're logging in, and um, depending on where you live in the world, you probably might check if you have the fastest Arch Linux servers. And this is him rating and looking at all the Arch Linux servers in your neighborhood and seeing which one he's gonna take. That just means the fastest updates, right? That's always, always important. That's indeed the next thing you can do is see when you download it or build the Arch Linux D that you have the latest elements, kernels, etc. Everything is there and AUR as well. Which things come from AUR? Well, that's Trizen and Yay, for instance. Those guys are from uh, AUR. So everything is good. Basically, we need to start uh, cracking. If you are on Arch Linux D, the point is that you get the scripts in from the GitHub Arch Linux D. You copy paste basically, and you go to git clone, you clone something from somewhere. It's on github.com. This is done with the Arch Linux D ISO, and it's Arco, and then a desktop environment, Arco Plasma. Arco XFCE, Arco i3, and it's all the same procedure. Once you've seen one video, if you've done one desktop, you'll know what to do next time. Now we're going to install Xmonad. LS, we have a directory there, CD inside the directory. And this is all the green stuff we need to run, except the Git and the setup, all the numbers we need to run. We start from the smallest number first, use all cores, make package. We want the installation to be as fast as possible. So instead of one core, we're going to use four cores. That's going to improve our build up time or our installation time. Number 100 is going to get our display manager and desktop, but also a lot of Haskell stuff you'll see in a bit. So Xmonad, there they are, all the Haskell things. You check out ArchWiki and then Xmonad, but you'll see that um, Haskell is a programming language and it can be a tricky thing. Like for instance, remember already that a tap is not done. We do not tap in that programming language. Space is all okay, but no taps. So there we are, that's already installed and then we are so with arrow up you, when you walk away and come back, so okay, 100 was the last one. And then you start typing again. So let's have some music on this thing. Sound is good. And who says sound? Says maybe Bluetooth headphone. With the holiday days machine maybe uh, present on the tree, I don't know. <laughs> Bluetooth for the headphone. And here 
while I'm faking all the time, of course, we are on a virtual box. So I'm going to run not all the scripts like the next one. I'm not going to run Samba and all that. Skip those three. For the functionality of Xmonad, it doesn't really matter if you have Samba or not. Or network discovery or TLP, that's for laptops. So this is just the desktop system. But here we start installing the, the important bunch of stuff. 200 and 300 is long. It takes a while to, to install everything. And um, you just edit these files. We have done a lot of work in it. We, we keep it uh, up to date at all times. But if you say, I do not want Genie to be installed, put the hashtag in front of it. Do not want Atom, put the hashtag. Or you want more, add it to it. Simple as that. So it, it should become... These scripts should become your scripts and put them on GitHub, Dropbox, anywhere. So you can run them at all times when you do a clean installation. And now I'm taking a pause here, pause the recording. Okay, the script has finished. So with an arrow up, this was 200. We're going for 300. This is called AUR, meaning it's Arch User Repository. Things can break because Archer user repository is you and me, a people who maintain a package build. It's called a recipe to cook up something, and we're building Polybar now. And if anything is wrong and lots of things can go wrong, um, the only thing you have to do is report it on the AOR website. Look, uh, something is broken. Do you know what it is? Could you help and or could you update? And basically, in a few days' time, um, everything is back working. But let this thing um, do all its installations. This is one script that takes also some uh, time. All right, this uh, number 300 is finished as well. And we are off for number 400. 400 is again something, I think it was Arch. Let's uh, wait and see again. So in, all, in the name of the scripts, you can devise or you can find if it's coming from the Arch repos or it's coming from the AUR. So in the name, it says 400 Software Arch Linux. So it's all pseudo Pacman stuff. The next up is number 500, which says that is AUR, but repo distro specific. So stuff that is just for this uh, desktop environment, that's, what we'll, that's where we'll put it in. And GIMP is, uh, for instance, number 200. I mean, that is good for any desktop. So that's in 200. But something specific for the desktop is going to be here when it's coming from the AOR. Let's wait for this build as well. Okay, we can continue. That was number 500. So one of the most important things, and that's why we differ from Arch Linux, is script 600. We have made so many design-wise, configuration-wise, theme-wise, um, genie configurations I see passing by. We made OB logout, uh, Qt5 settings, root settings, all those aliases that we have, slimlock themes. Man, I mean, there are so many tweaking and theming involved. And that's this script 600. And we're holding here, so I'm, I'm well, up. there we go, super right. This is an, a red error, but we have a backup uh, uh, server so that takes over and everything just installs fine that's exactly what i wanted to see super we are um, available on discord i just saw discord uh, being installed so that's our way to communicate with you and with um, well our beta testers and our linux team and the users themselves you can ask questions and once of course it gets technical you need to go to the forum, find the, f or find the information on the forum already. And let's see where we were. 600 is done. 700, you need to install it because it's a fonts. You can't live with a beautiful, without fonts, without a beautiful font. You're always looking at uh, applications using the fonts. So, yes. By the way, I've made a video on uh, Arch Linux, BSPWM, and and there I specifically install one font, 
it is unreadable your termite without that font so yes you need number 700 then 800 i'm not going to do that one so auto login if you want to do that you can do that but let's uh, first try out what the light dm uh, greeter does and if you have a problem with a microcode error when you boot up that's the fix for it but 910 we can run that one <coughs> so you want to have the breeze snow cursor also available when you log out so the cursor is there in the desktop but when you log out you are in line dm and we want that uh, to keep the white one so that's done and then it's time to reboot so we stop there sudo reboot and let's have a look grub shows up first line and then we should be greeted with the light yet yet that's normal boot up login and this is normal still okay still happy with it you remember if the resolution is not okay super x in this case so log out login this is a window or tiling window manager so we need to log out l works and i'm oh, ls log sorry <laughs> my mistake super x and then log out i was i typed the k and now we have this full screen 1920 and 1080 and that's what i want of course and that's because we finally found the virtual box setting that we needed to have a full screen resolution you can watch the video about it so there you are are you are, again there you are alt n for another wallpaper alt n for the next one and the next one and the next one Control alt t this is what we're on let's kill the conky at the side there super shift return this is our thunar everything is available everything is working we have a beautiful system and other videos will go more go will go in more detail all right cheers